this new collection actually started in 2017. So we have a beautiful piece that was for Christmas of 2017. Um, and this family grew. The Asian inspiration comes from the notion of a lantern. In the olden times, when there was really no electricity, you used to have oil and then lantern moves from one place uh, to another. Yeah, and there's actually a particular festival. It's called Lantern Festival, Yuan Xiao Jie, and it's one of our favorite festivals, which is like a holiday right now. Um, and this is when little kids in villages used to take their lantern and walk around. And so this is kind of like an electric version, like a modern version, you know, because the whole reason to have the clip is so that you can hang it and that you can use your hands. But now, of course, we hang it on structure to showcase the lighting. We have always been fascinated with playing on the notion of contrast. So the idea of this glass and bronze metal and um, the, the tension between the two. So one is the structure and one obviously is the light itself. So we're constantly playing with very simple material because initially what was started was this simple lantern that you can carry around and it needed to be economically feasible. It needs to be affordable. Uh, but it became so popular that our timidity asked us to expand the family. And very important is also the wire. So the wirings are exposed and they kind of form this, you know, different kind of almost messy shapes, like the way that we're always trying to control wires, but they're totally uncontrollable. Sometimes when you leave room, you always leave it on your light. And sometimes you come back and you're kind of like, oh, what happened, right? But if you have a small object that's always with you, you're constantly aware when it's, when it's on. So you are conscious to turn it off. The notion of sustainability, I think, can be exemplified in many ways. More than just high technology or science, sometimes just very simple common sense is important. Uh, things like turning the light off, things like not buying new things every day. Sustainability is key. As architects, if you're not sustainable, you're not going to survive. Oftentimes people speak so much about sustainability when in fact it should be basic. So as a practice, we've really been conscious about doing things in the rural area. We're trying to work with Artemide to hopefully some of these pieces could be localized in China. So hopefully there will be this new collaboration with Artemide uh, that's interesting. It's a secret. I can't tell you. Uh, but if you watch us closely, you know, it will be fine.